welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna be doing an art portfolio tour. So yeah. So for those of you who aren't familiar, the AP art portfolio is 24 images. Um, 12 have to be a concentration and 12 have to be just a breadth to show all of your skills. So in my portfolio I got a five, which is the highest score, which I was super excited about, a little confused. And my concentration was about um, food and humans interaction with food. So I thought, because I'm a big foodie, I wanted to do something food related. So first off, I'm going to show you guys my, um, just my breath pieces. This piece right here, which is Swiss chard. So the undercoat is watercolor and then the, um, it's outlined with ink to make a pretty cool rainbow piece. This is one of my quality pieces, which I was really proud of. Yeah. So, and then there is this one, which is which is um, a gouache, non-objective painting, which was inspired actually by a piece of pizza I saw, and I just kind of ran with that idea. And this is gouache, which is pretty hard to work with in my opinion. I'm not a huge painting person. So yeah, this is my gouache painting. Uh, this one took me a while because gouache is pretty hefty. Yeah, it can also be this way, I think. And then so this piece right here was a quick one I did. I don't know if it's focused. Um, it's tomatoes and colored pencil and then just a quick little border in gouache paint, which was pretty cool. Sick. This one right here is a watercolor painting of a bird of paradise I did. It was pretty quick, just did it for my breath, which I'm showing you. Right here, I did was, I made a lino cut, and I like printed it and carved it out, and then I put it on paper. So this is one print of it I did, and then this is the second print I did, which I was pretty proud of. And then I outlined it in ink. Um, this one, I actually didn't submit to my portfolio. It's unfinished still, but I thought it was a cool portrait. Um, this one is a... Canson portrait. I did. I did this sophomore year, and I submitted my portfolio senior year. So this one is just a black and white portrait of some person I found online. I was pretty proud of it for my first like actual portrait drawing. I was pretty happy with it, but I don't love it too much anymore. Here's the print of these. This is the print I carved out right here. You can see that I actually cut myself a few times making this. So up next, I have lilies I drew. So I did um, just a pencil sketch and I scanned it onto illustration board. Uh, this one is fine. Um, and then I just watercolored over it. I'm not too proud of this one, but just a good like filler piece, I think. So this next one is um, an acrylic painting of just a woman. It's very inspired by Picasso. It's supposed to be like a cubist portrait, just a woman. And I wanted to use like a lot of bright colors and something that would Picasso would do. And I'm not really too comfortable with painting, so this one was kind of difficult for me. It's not too technically challenging, but I'm still a fan of it. Uh, so this one right here is a charcoal drawing of one of my friends. I just took this photo of him in class and then I drew it. it this was my first time using charcoal, so I'm pretty happy with it. I'm not like super happy, I did this last year, and I liked how the veins turned out on the hand. So this one right here is another quality of mine. It's a um, drawing, a still life drawing, of a banana and a red bell pepper and a knife. And this one took me a long time actually. I, I like this one a lot, but I think I could have pushed the darks more. But yeah, I like this is a... So this one is my, I think my best one. It's a... Um, it's a drawing of an egg on my friend's face. So I took this photo and then I drew it in colored pencil. It took me a long time actually. This is one of my most intensive pieces right here, which I like a lot. And then I have this self-portrait of myself. This one also took me a while and it's in colored pencil as well. And then I have this one, which is in my concentration, it's pretty big. So it's a hand being cut by a knife, 
but the inside of the hand is carrot, and the inside of the carrot is bone, which I thought was cool. A little bit edgier than the other stuff, but once again, color pencil. And then this one was a drawing I did of someone burning their tongue. It was inspired by a, paint, a picture of um, one of my favorite artists right here. Yeah, so this one I did is um, a pencil drawing of carrots, but the carrots are um, like morphing to fingers. So like you can see right here, the, the stems of the carrot look like hands, and then I put like rings on the carrots, just like fingers. This one was pretty cool. I did this one kind of last minute, but I liked it. Um, this one right here is an eye, but the inside of the eye is an onion because like onions make you cry. So I wanted to do the um, the like the iris onion colored, which I thought turned out pretty cool. This one right here is a ballpoint pen drawing of a beat, but like a heartbeat. So it's like a play on words where a beating heart is like beat like the, the vegetable. So I put like veins and like arteries on this beat to make it look all gruesome. I thought it was pretty cool. And then to go along with this, I have this drawing of blueberries, but I bruised them. So I put like weird red and yellow hues in it to make it look like it was bruising. And then last with the ballpoint pen series are these strawberries I drew really quickly. I kind of made them look like muscle tissue, but they're mostly just strawberries. And then another self-portrait of myself when I dyed my hair blue. It's um, me eating a cookie, if you want to see, yeah. And then this one right here is a drawing of a head of lettuce. It's another play on words like heartbeat, where um, it's like a head. You know how lettuce is called a head? So I put the um, like facial features in the head of lettuce, like a human head, to combine food and human features, like my concentration. So I put like eyes and like a mouth and a head of lettuce, which I thought was fun. This is also color pencil. And then, so recently I got an MRI and I took a photo of the MRI and I put, instead of a brain, I put a piece of cabbage in it. So since like the inside of your head kind of looks like red cabbage, I decided to combine those two aspects into a cool white charcoal colored pencil piece. And then this one, it's a little weird. I did this one pretty quickly. It's a watermelon fetus. So it's like a watermelon inside you is pregnant. I don't know. I thought it was funny. Props to Sydney for that one. And these two, I didn't submit. This one's like someone chewing cherries on a plastic bag. It's like a commentary on plastic waste or something. I couldn't really figure out what it meant. And this one's like a quick sketch of bottles. Um, there's this one, which I never finished, which is going to be like a couch potato, but I thought it was kind of dumb. So I didn't do it. And yeah, so that's my APR portfolio. I was pretty proud of it. It took me a very long time, almost like three years to complete, and I was happy that I got a five in the end. And if you want to do art, 